Hey, this is Pastor Ricky Temple. You hang with people who drain you? I mean, like, they like, slurp, they just, that ter that's a terrible slurp, right? But they slurp you dry. I mean, they literally take the life out of you. There is a verse in the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, that just comes alive when I think about it. Let me read it for you. And I want you to, to hear this because this verse says basically get away from the slurpers, the people that drain you and pull you into behaviors you don't need to be in. Look what he says in verse 17 of 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord, and do not touch unclean things, things that defile you, things that make you unclean. You know in your life there are certain things you never ever would have done if you weren't around certain people. And I'm not trying to put people down. I'm a big people person. Love people. Me, me love people, I'm telling you. I, I come to your house, take my shoes off, sit down for a long time and just have fun, eat some fruit. This one, I love to do that. Can't do it for everybody, but that's the kind of guy I am. But I've learned something that's really important. Some people help me and some people drain me. And one of the goals in my life is not be a drainer. You just suck all the life out of people. And, and one of the guys, uh, uh, Danny Pink, in his book called um, Keep Your Love On, he talks about this and he talks about how there are consumers and all they do is consume your joy, your peace. That's why they want to be your friend. They want you in their life to be, <laughs> to consume, <laughs> consume you. They're not people who empower you. They're people who take the power from you. And I love that book and I love the way he describes this whole problem that people have. And it inspires me to be the kind of person who says, you know what? I need to separate myself from people and things, not just people, organizations, things that drain me. Now, I believe that you need to hang in there with people. Don't know this lead because people are difficult. I do believe you need a difficult person in your life. Difficult people help you. They help you see things <laughs> and grow through things. But I think there comes a point where you have to draw a line and you have to say, I can't do that. I have to come out from amongst them. So if you know that you're you know, tempted to be on drugs, you don't need to be around people who smoke drugs. You need to draw the line. He, and this is what he says. I will be a father to you and you will be my sons in verse 18 and, 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 and daughters, says the Lord. Read it again. I can read it on a good day. And I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord. So you, you, you take the action that you need to take reach out to God and he says, our relationship will get better. I want to father you. I want to be close to you. But you have to make the decision to come out. Well, Pastor Rick, I just don't know. What do you mean? Suppose it's my husband. Suppose it's my brother. Well, you, you may not, you know, like divorce them over this, but you can at least not participate in those things that they do that work against you. You can draw boundaries and lines and every now and then you need to do that. You know, every now and then you need to pause. I love that series of books called Boundaries. You know, there's a whole series of books, I think by Townsend, that talks about the importance of saying, I'm not going past this point. There's something about you realizing this is your life and saying, I'm not going to be drained. I'm not going to be destroyed over this. One of the best decisions I made in my life wa was to, to draw back from certain environments that I saw weakened me. I don't know what weakens you. I don't know what or who pulls you in the wrong direction, but you need to get honest about that. Because here's the, here's the deal. If you're not honest, nothing's going to ever change. If you're not honest, you're going to get lost and you won't be found. You have to stop this today. You are the only one that can do that. Let's pray. Father, I pray for those today who are being drained who are emotionally frustrated, in the wrong place, going through a hard time because they are constantly under the weight of somebody else's issues. I pray, Father, for them to learn to let their children grow, do the best they can with them, but they can't own their life. Let their employees grow. They can't save everybody. They can't fix everybody. Sometimes all they can do is watch the movie. It's a painful movie to watch, but that's all they can do. And may they learn to embrace what they can change and change it and move beyond what they can't change. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Ricky Temple. I thank you for being with me today. I pray that you would allow the Lord to help you make this hard decision and do what's right for you. I'll see you next time right here. It's all sharpened. I'm gonna keep you sharp. See you next time. Bye-bye.